While most UVA students have studied at one point or another in Clemens Library, many are unaware of the full scope of resources it has to offer. For this first year PSA, we're going to dive deep into the student favorite library, fondly referred to across grounds as Clem. The library is located at the intersection of University Avenue and McCormick Road, across the street from the Rotunda, and next door to the Special Collections Library and Peabody Hall. Clem has four floors. The entrance is on the top floor, coined Clem 4, so we're going to start this video there and work our way down the library. Although Clem's unofficial rules say that the noise level starts high and gradually becomes quieter the further down you go, most students find the actual ordering a little different. On each floor, I'll give a volume rating from 1 to 4, where 1 is the quietest and 4 is the loudest. Let's get started. The fourth floor of Clem, expected to be the loudest, actually only comes second in our ranking. We give this a 3 out of 4 volume level. You can expect to find students talking in groups, but not at a level too overwhelming. As you walk through the front doors, you'll find the student circulation desk immediately on your left. This is a good place to get help finding a resource, whether that's a particular book or some amenity the library has to offer. You can expect to find student workers behind this desk, ready to help in between rounds of their own study sessions. When it comes to availability, one of the great things about Clem is that it stays open 24 hours a day, 5 days a week, and doesn't close until 2 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. So if you find yourself wishing you'd given yourself more time to start that month-old project due tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., you'll be happy to know that Clem is ready to help you pull your all-nighter. There's plenty of places to study on this floor, whether you like relaxing armchairs, booths with comfortable cushioned seats, or wheelie chairs and desks. This makes a nice place for doing group work, working individually, or even just hanging out with friends. If you're hungry, there's vending machines filled with snacks to aid in your half-hearted studying attempts. If you're in need of a printer, you can connect to the Who's Print printing and copying system and print out color pages, the default, at 60 cents per page, compared to black and white printing at 8 cents a page. Besides your typical printers, there are also book scanners you can use to grab pages from a text and view it digitally later. And there's plenty of magazines, DVDs, and journals to check out on this floor. Overall, this floor is great if you're in need of a relaxing, no-stress environment where you can feel free to talk openly without being too distracted by the noise. This concludes the fourth floor segment. The third floor of Clem falls just below the volume level of the fourth floor in our ranking. We give this floor a 2 out of 4 on the scale, as you can reasonably expect a quieter environment with plenty of interactive activities to partake in. This floor is known as the Robertson Media Center, a hub for student media and technology. If you want to use equipment of any kind, like professional cameras and microphones or lighting gear, this is the place to reserve it. There's also plenty of desktop computers stocked with editing and media software available at any hour for student use. These can be used for the purpose of some sort of digital project or just for regular classwork. And by far the coolest part of this floor is the virtual reality space. Students can play interactive games with virtual reality consoles, including the Oculus Rift and Google Daydream. I personally didn't know about this part of the library, but I'm super excited to try it out. A smaller portion of this floor belongs to the Scholars Lab, which is a center for research of humanistic technologies, which includes the virtual reality tech mentioned before. This lab is home to an area known as the Tinker Tank, formerly called the Makerspace. It used to be an alderman library, but is temporarily housed in Clem while the renovation is underway. In the Tinker Tank, students can use equipment of various kinds to produce whatever artifacts they desire. This includes lots of 3D modeling and virtual reality production. Even if you don't need to use any of these resources, it's still a comfortable place to study. You can reserve some rooms, but there's usually plenty of available space to sit and work. The Robertson Media Center is a great choice of floor to work on digital media or just relax and have fun. The second floor of Clem, the Student Center, ranks highest in our volume ranking. At a 4 out of 4, this floor will most likely have plenty of noise on any given day, so while this makes a good environment for collaboration, it's probably not the floor for students looking for silent study. One thing to keep note of is that this floor is the only one not open 24 hours. But with it closing from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. every night, it's still available for a large part of the day. Long tables make up the center of the room, with cubicles on one side and booths surrounding the brightly lit windows on the perimeter of the floor. Conference and meeting rooms line up on the far side of the floor, available for students and faculty alike. These rooms are also host to many programs that the Student Center has to offer, including drop-in advising from the Career Center, the Math Collaborative Learning Center, the Writing Center, and many more. Personally, this is my favorite floor to study on. You'll definitely feel the camaraderie on this floor in full effect. The last stop of Clem is the first floor, accurately nicknamed the Silent Study Floor. There's a huge difference in volume between the second and first floor, and that's why it earns its title at a volume ranking of 1 out of 4. This floor is split pretty evenly between stacks and study spaces, with revolving stacks taking up much of the adjacent space when you first enter. These go on for a while, so if you need help finding something, the fourth floor circulation desk is happy to help. Aside from this, long tables and booths make up the rest of the floor plan, 
much like the second floor's layout. When you're walking to your preferred study setting, you'll find that there is not much noise aside from the rustle of backpacks or clicking of computer keyboards. For the most part, students come here to really focus, so if you need to get away from the dorm to finally crank out that paper, the first floor is the place to be. Glenn Library's large supply of resources and spacious facilities come together to provide an enjoyable student experience all around. Happy studying!